my name is Asian Psycho and I'm here to bring you guys another review, this time on the MP40. This is the newest forgeable variant of um, the Mac 10 as of the latest patch earlier today uh, on September 19th, 2012. So yeah, let's get started, quickly get started on the MP40 review because I want to go out there and get some more gameplays and whatnot. So yeah, I won't waste your time or I won't try to anyway. And yep, let's get this kicked off. So, um, this is forged from the Mac 10, and um, it does cost 7 replica pallets to um, forge into the MP40. And a little bit of background information on the MP40 this is a World War II era German submachine gun, and um, it's pretty infamous throughout the uh, FPS community, mainly because of World at War, because World at War just made it into a freaking overpowered beast weapon that you just put stopping power and steady mags on it, and everyone's gonna, <laughs> everyone's gonna die. But in any case, this this isn't World at War, this is Combat Arms, but um, yeah, we'll just talk about how the MP40 performs and pertains to Combat Arms, so let's get started. Um, looking back, looking down its statistics here on the Combat Arms main page, um, once again, you can check out the stats for the MP40 or all the other newly released guns as of the last patch on the Combat Arms website main, main site. Um, I will, if I remember, I will leave a link in the description below. And um, you guys can check it out for yourselves. But um, the MP40 does deal a 34 damage. This is one point higher than the MP5. One point less than the MP5A4 Mark II. And um, two points lower than your standard um, NX standard so machine gun and whatnot. So the damage is lower than average. But um, then again, this is a GP. This is technically a GP uh, sub machine gun. So you can't really expect much out of it. But um, for 34... Um, for 34 damage, and actually, I think it has like a 35 damage to be honest, but um, whatever. Nexon says it has a 34 damage, and we'll put it that way. As for its damage drop off, for a submachine gun, the MP40 actually has a surprisingly consistent damage drop off within its effective range. So um, I think you'll be doing like maybe 29, 30 damage up to like middle range or something like that. And considering that other submachine guns have a pretty terrible damage drop off, that's actually pretty good. So um, the dam MP40 is damage wise pretty suited for close range and uh, up to a certain extent middle range combat. And that's better than uh, some of the other submachine guns that don't have as great of a damage drop off. Like I think the UMP for UMP doesn't really have that great of a damage drop off. Um, it, it drops off pretty pretty harshly out outside of its effective range, but um, but yeah, that's for its damage portability. Was the MP40 is one of the slower. In fact, this is probably the slowest submachine gun at 74. Even the M24 Ampara and the UMP45 have like 79 portability, don't they? Or am I getting that wrong? I don't know, but anyways, the MP40 does seem like it has the slowest portability out of all the submachine guns in Comet Arms, but, uh, I mean, it still is more portable than your fastest, uh, assault rifle, like your Barons or something like that, so, um, that's nothing to sneeze at. Um, moving on to the rate of fire, the rate of fire on the MP40 is at a, an 85, so that's also nothing to sneeze at as well. I mean, it's no, it's, it's no NX standard submachine where it has, like, 90 rate of fire or something crazy like that, but it's still very fast, and, um, practically speaking, it sounds like the MP40 does have, like, 90 rate of fire, and, um, I honestly don't believe that it only has an 85 rate of fire. It honestly, it sounds like it has like an 87 or at least 88 rate of fire, but that's just me. Uh, you guys can see for yourselves if the rate of fire is indeed that is in the correct on the MP40. Moving right along, the accuracy on the MP40 is clocked at 65, so this is, I, I don't want to say standard, but it I've definitely seen the accuracy rating of 65 pop up quite a few times, so um, it's not uncommon, and um, as for the MP40's accuracy overall, it seems like the accuracy, the bullet, the way that the bullets behave is that they go towards the outer ring of your spread, so that may or may not be annoying at times, but um, because this is a submachine gun, you shouldn't really be using this at middle range anyway, so you can largely ignore that fact, but if you are trying to take out someone at middle range, then do keep in mind that sometimes some of your bullets can go out to the outer ring of your spread, so just keep that in mind. Uh, recoil. The recoil on the MP40 is clocked at 66. Uh, I believe this is the same one as on the... I don't know. I think one of the NX standard submachine guns have uh, have 66 recoil, but uh, in any case, the MP40 is recoil overall. The recoil spread um, it spreads out. I want to say it. It you can compare it to like the 
tea, the T2, I want to say. Um, the recoil spray kind of behaves like that, if not a little bit smaller, like the max spray is a little bit smaller. But um, in terms of sheer recoil spray, it's not that bad. In fact, it's probably one of the better ones out there. But um, the, what offsets it is the fact that it has pretty heavy recoil kickback. The recoil kickback is pretty high on this thing. It's kind. It also kind of reminds me of the T2's recoil spread. It's somewhere between that and the Mac 10. I, I can't really say for sure, but it kind of feels like that way. Uh, but in any case, it does. It can have the potential to kick around a lot. So um, if you're trying to shoot someone at middle range, the heavy recoil kickback, plus the fact that the bullet spread, the bullet pattern does go kind of off center uh, towards the outer ring of the spread, can combine to uh, force you to miss a lot of your shots and thus get killed. So yeah, you want to be careful with the MP40. Uh, moving right along here uh, to other things that uh, st that are not statistics based. Uh, overall recoil controllability uh, on the uh, on the MP40, the center speed is fast enough so that if you give the MP40 like a split seconds uh, a worth of rest, then the center speed the spread the spread will pretty much go back to normal. So um, do try to burst in long bursts, not exactly full auto, but like long bursts, like maybe about ten bullets each, and um, that's what I recommend with the MP40 anyway. So so like you can maintain the best average recoil spread and whatnot on your MP40, so you can kill as many people as you can. Um, tap variability. Um, I missed some. <laughs> you really don't need tap variability on this, so forget that. Sprint drawback. Sprint drawback because it is a submachine gun. It's pretty quick, uh, as you might expect of a submachine gun. You're going to be up in people's faces a lot, so you got to have that fast recoil, sprint, uh, recoil, uh, or not recoil, but sprint drawback speed. As for its draw speed, the draw speed is extremely fast as well. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, so you can definitely pull this out in a jiffy. That's what she said too. Shut up. And. Um, yeah, it's basically, the MP40 is basically, except for its portability, it's pretty much geared towards, um, close quarters combat, so, just like, uh, just like your, your, just like what you would expect out of a submachine gun, like a standard submachine gun, so, um, in those aspects, it is pretty good. Center speed, we've already talked about that, so we can gloss over that. Uh, reload speed, the reload speed is insanely fast! You can't, I mean, I know that you can't attach magazine modifications onto the MP40, uh, which, it's kind of like the Famai SAF and the FM, uh, Magpul FMG9 where they had the same issue of not being able to put magazine modifications on it. But if you're, if you're, it's kind of like in the same boat with the Famai SAF and the uh, FMG9 Magpul where their reload speeds are so fast that it's almost as if you don't need um, extended mags on the MP40, any of those guns that I just mentioned right now. And especially uh, considering the fact that even though it's not much, but it does come with this with a really like a unique 32 round magazine which is historically accurate the real life mp40 did have a 32 mount magazine um box feed magazine um it, it kind of provides you with more ammo but at the same time it's so it's so little that it doesn't really affect your overall uh, sustainability with mp40 in the, in the long run um Moving on to, so that's his reload speed, it's extremely fast. Uh, fire modes, it's only available in fully automatic, as you might expect. Um, luck, it's m somewhere in the middle. It's not, it's not so unlucky that you'd never get headshot with this, but at the same time, it's not like a headshot machine like the FMG9 Magpul is. So, I'm um, somewhere in the middle. It's it's like a comfortable balance, I would say. Um, you can try spraying at people's heads at long, at medium range or long range and hope that you can kind of reliably count on get your MP40 getting you, picking you up a headshot, but, um, for the most part, you shouldn't really do that, and, um, just, just spray people at close range if you can. Um, as for its ammo capacity, I kind of mentioned this before, it does start with a unique 32 round box feed magazine out of 96 rounds reserved, so that's pretty unique, no other submachine gun, or no other weapon for that matter has this. I mean, UMP, technically speaking, does have a 32 round magazine, but in combat arms, it, it starts with 35, so that's why it's considered unique for the MP40. Um... As for its key physical characteristics, guys, if you don't know what a, if, if you don't know what the MP40 looks like, I swear to God, guys, go learn some kind of history. <laughs> the MP40s is, is, is the MP40 is pretty iconic, and if you're if you're ever familiar with World War II weaponry, then you know what the MP40 looks like. Assuming that you guys don't know what it looks like, it it looks pretty small, and yeah, shut up. 
Anyways, so um, the barrel is very thin as well. The box feed magazine is very thin because it fires nine nine millimeter uh pistol. I think it fires nine millimeter pistol rounds. I think right, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, I mean it is called the machine pistol 40. Um, the MP does start stand for machine pistol. I think in German as well. Um, the spelling is pretty similar uh, for crossing over from English to German. I think so. I believe that 40 designation also uh, signifies that it was manufactured in 1940. So, um. Gotta polish up, uh, polish up on this World War II no history knowledge, and um, yeah, that's for its um, its key physical characteristics. It does have a foldable buttstock, but it seems like the uh, the profile picture in on the Commodore's main main page, it does seem like the buttstock is folded up, so you can't really use it. Uh, it'd be nice that if the Commodore has uh, put in implemented a feature where you can actually actively use the buttstocks, but I mean. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's never gonna happen. Muzzle noise. The muzzle noise sounds exactly like the M FMG9 Magpul. If you pay attention a little bit more attention to the actual muzzle noise, the MP40, you will hear like a sort, a slight layer of ambience added to it. But for the most part, you're going to hear the you're going to hear the exact same muzzle noise as the uh, FMG9 Magpul. They pretty much sound exactly the same. If you're not, if you're just listening to it and you're just hearing hearing someone uh, use it and you're not in the same room as they are. Um, as for its attachment options, you can't attach anything onto the MP40, so it's kind of like an advantage in itself that if you forge the MP40, you know you can't attach anything on it, so you don't have to bother, you don't have to worry about, oh, what kind of attachment should I put on it? At the same time, though, it kind of sucks that you can't put, like, an extended magazine on the MP40, or, like, a sight, I don't know why you would want a sight, but, um, or other things like that you, that you may want to use, but, um, you take it for what you will, you can't attach anything onto the MP40. Fire Team Worthy! Uh, the MP40 is just purple. It's just way too weak for it to be, you know. Uh, if you're gonna try to use it in like zombie fire team game modes, but uh, maybe f maybe the human NPC get fire teams, but definitely not the zombie, uh, like Black Lung or Cabin Fever. It, the MP40 doesn't pack uh, quite the punch uh, to be able to knock zombies down fast enough. I mean, most of the machine guns can't do that anyway, unless you have the P90 TRC or like the uh, UMP45 or the Dual Scorpion or something like that. But uh, for the most part, the MP40 isn't necessarily good for anti-zombie work. As for quarantine, it Technically speaking, it doesn't have a fast portability. However, it does it does have a pretty insane rate of fire and a really insane re reload speed. So I don't know what, what you guys think about using the MP40 in quarantine. I'll leave it to you, quarantine pros out there, because obviously lots of you guys play a lot more quarantine than I do. So I'll leave it to you guys for you to decide. And um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. As for my frank personal opinion, the MP40, it's it's kind of. It's it's definitely a good submachine. There's no getting around that. It's but it ha it's kind of like the it's kind of like a weird submachine gun in, in that it's in a position that if you use it right, it can feel like the most overpowered submachine gun up there with the MP P90 TRSC and dual scorpions at close range. However, if you use it wrong and incorrectly, it can it can feel like oh, why is it why why is this even in the game? This sucks too bad. Why why didn't actually even bother using this or putting this into the game? So it's kind of it, the MP40 is kind of like a weird situation like that. Basically, my tips for the MP40 for those of you guys who want to use it and have already forged the Mac 10 into the MP4 or are planning to forge the Mac 10 into the MP40, but you want to see what other people have to offer or what even want to hear some tips about the MP40 before you go off wasting your money and find out you don't like it. I'm going to give you a few tips that just just pertain to some machines overall in general. The MP40, you want to use it. You obviously want to use it at close range. Um, you want to try aim for the head at middle range or long range to to hopefully score a headshot. Because I mean, it is a submachine gun and it can spray bullets like no no one's business. But as for tips, just for the MP40, um, I would say that. It's in your best interest to try to run and gun as fast as as much as you can, because the MP40 is like the FMG9 Mag One, the FMG F minus the F, in that they're all kind of geared towards rushing some machine guns. They've got extremely fast reload speeds, and you have to use that to your advantage. And the only way you're going to be able to do that, use that to your advantage is by rushing people and spraying people at close range and taking them down before they they have a chance to fire back at you. Preferably speaking, you also 
don't want to flank them, but um, I mean, I know that not you, you don't you can't flank your enemies all the time. So um, at the very least, try rushing with the MP40. Even if rushing is not your style, that's just the, how you're gonna have to use the MP40. You can't just sit back and use it like a, a, like a UMP45 with its high damage and all and relatively low rate of fire. You can't use it like that because they're just two separate. They're two so totally separate um, and different some machine guns. You have to go around rushing people, rushing into people's spawns, rushing people and get and just catch them off guard and spray them down with the MP40. One of the best uses for the MP40 is holding down a choke point. If you are in a situation, uh, if you are situated like a choke point, like the stairs on oil rig or pump check, that's where the MP40 really shines because it's a freaking bullet hose, and you can just lay down bullets on your enemies as they're coming up the stairs. Just post up on the uh, top of the stairs, and as soon as you see people come up the stairs, just spray them down. You will get accolades for days if people, uh, if multiple people come up these stairs at once and they're not expecting you. So um, yeah, the MP40 does short makes short work of your enemies in that respect. So yeah, that those are my kind of short tips uh, to using the MP40. Also, I also highly recommend that you guys burst fire, not 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 like bursts of three or four, but in long bursts like ten or fifteen even, because the center speed it makes it uh, the center speed on the MP40 makes it so that um, it, it centers back pretty quickly. So all you need is like a split second's worth of time for your MP40 to settle back, and then you can start spraying again. All it takes is just one lift of your finger from the left uh, from the left click, and just click back down on it immediately afterwards. And um, you sh the recoil spread should be able to center itself back uh, right away in order for you guys to be able to you know recenter your aim on your target. So. That, that's still another little tip that I got that I have for you guys while using the MP40. In any case, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. This will be the end of the MP40 review. Once again, this is forged from the Mac 10 and um, with seven replica pal pallets. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I highly recommend that you guys use this because it is a very good submachine gun. There's no getting around that. It can, it has the potential to become very over, or it has the potential to pe become a seemingly overpowered submachine gun. But at the same time, if you don't use it right, or if, you, if you're just having a bad day with this, then the MP4 will just look like the crappiest shit piece of shit in the world. And yeah, that'll wrap up the review on the uh, MP4, MP40. My name is Asian Psycho, aka Taurus Not Brian Nate, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the review. I'll see you guys later. You can shit that today.